I didn't want to risk the shot at 600 yards because the wind in those mountains is really fickle. I mean, you, you have a left to right wind in one spot and you walk 200 yards down the, down the ridge and it's right to left. It was really weird the way they were swirling. We're getting a lot of weird weather as winter comes here. So we decided to try to get closer. This hunt was much tougher than I expected. The terrain is a lot rougher and steeper than I imagined, and even though there are lots of ibex, getting into rifle range is very difficult. I knew it was gonna make things tougher, and sure enough, it did as we got closer. All the terraces that were below us blocked our view, so we, we were there for at least an hour, and eventually, Juanto and, and Herman just started throwing rocks down the bottom, trying to get them to stand up or move where we could see them. And sure enough, they just started moving off to our left. And I caught a glimpse of him, but not long enough to shoot. So I got on a path ahead of us with my rifle and just waited. And um, it didn't take long before Wanto got all excited and I knew he was coming. A second later, he stepped out on that path and just gave me a perfect shot. 315 yards, prone off the pack. Pretty much a chip shot, but I didn't have long to make it. Unfortunately, it all worked out. <laughs> that was an awesome hunt. We, um, we spotted that billy this morning. He is a huge billy, and we've been on him all day. We lost him for a couple of hours up here on the mountain. It's really cold. We got fog moving in. It's really windy, but we've been just working back and forth along the rim, glassing. We have Lucas across the valley glassing from where he is. And uh, we found it a little while ago. It was uh, a little over 600 yards, and we tried to close the distance. We got here, and we spooked a couple of them, and we weren't sure what happened to them. We sat here for a while, and finally, the last place we'd seen them was this pine below us. So the guys started having a rock chunking contest, trying to hit the pine. And eventually, it, they didn't hit them, but I guess they got close enough that they just got nervous, and they filed out of here, unfortunately, right into some trees. But they came out on top of one of these millions of rock walls that are out here and he stopped for just long enough for me to get on him and smoke him and it is a huge billy and tremendo, no? Muy grande. A lot more work for us today, but it was a great hunt, a great stalk. Um, way more challenging and rewarding than I expected and it's a fantastic animal. ¿Cuánto año tienes de? Este animal tiene 11 años y tiene unos cuernos muy bien marcados, muy grueso y es así más recto. Now he's saying that it's a very it's a very old animal. It's 11 years you can clearly see these distinct annular rings on the horns and it's probably going to throw its its 12th ring here pretty soon. So it's an old animal, very mature. And he was dogging a couple of females all morning, so he's ready for the rut. A great one to take. Uh, sadly, I, I lost a little bit of that one horn tip when he fell. It was a great trophy. I'm real proud of him, and it was a great hunt. Muchas gracias. A ti, a ti por venir a visitarnos. Gracias, Herman. Bienvenido. The hard work really started when the crew got Greg's gold medal Ibex loaded up in their packs and started heading up the mountain. But the tough climb is a sweet reward for all the hard work, dedication, and patience it took to connect on Greg's once-in-a-lifetime trophy.